Hey guys, Rukshan here. Thanks for joining me for this video. Over the last couple of days, I've been bringing you updates on just how divisive this voice referendum has become in Australia. And this latest video that's gone viral uh, online just today really goes to show just how bad it's gotten. And I think really calmer heads need to prevail. We should be able to have these deep debates in a cordial manner uh, without seeing these type of ugly scenes. Now, before I play this video, it's very important to note that uh, we don't really have what happened before this interaction and we don't have what happened after. The part that's gone viral is particularly just this piece of video. Um, but in that video itself, uh, you, you will see when I play it, uh, it's quite disgusting and disturbing that these things are happening. So this is a Yes23 volunteer that's in this video. A member of the public is filming them appears to be some type of uh, Yes 23 or campaign event to do with the voice referendum. They're under a marquee. And this is what happens. If you're hearing any beeps, it's because I've uh, beeped out the swear words and cuss words. But here we go. Let's play this video. I'm getting ah, a photo so of your lambs, you stupid mole. Not, Get out of the way. Don't you dare. Get out of the way. Up. You just grabbed my phone and assaulted me. Get out. Right. That's, now, what's your name? What's this crazy bitch's name? She just spat Excuse on me. me. What no. is this crazy Don't bitch's name? Me. Go away. You just spat on me. You've been now away. done for assault. Go what away. is your name? What's Calling your name? The police. Good. Call the police now. Go you just away. spat on me. Go, so I did start. not. You did just no, spit on me. Not. It's on video, you, you stupid My phone and assaulted me. So she did just then deny spitting on this gentleman. And uh, we did see there that she actually did spit on him because it's it's on the video. Now, again, like I said, we don't know what happened before. We don't know what happened after this video piece that's gone viral. But just those scenes themselves uh, is quite disturbing and something that potentially police should look at because, you know, spitting on people, that is a type of assault. But it shows you just how, uh, you know, rabid this uh, referendum debate has become out in the public, uh, particularly with, you know, very uh, high up voices in the in the Yes campaign. Uh, you know, alluding to the fact that people who either, either who don't support them are racists and so on. So there's a lot of vitriol being thrown about, and you're seeing this again play out on the streets. Now, clearly, this time it's very clear that this is a Yes 23 uh, volunteer that they're part of the Yes uh, campaign. They're wearing this T-shirt, and as has been noted online, some people have said that this is actually a faculty member of uh, the Australian National University there in Canberra. Um, and some people have shared her details. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I don't think there's a point to that in, in me doing that. But, uh, you know, just those scenes themselves really shows you what's happening right now in our country. What do you guys think? I mean, how do we deal with this issue right now? Yeah, because as we get closer and closer to this date, I think we're going to see more and more of these type of interactions. And it's quite, quite unfortunate that we're being pulled into this very divisive mess in this country. You know, we're having people icons of Australian sport and icons of Australian music and celebrities that many people have a lot of respect for now, having joined certain particular sides. Uh, you have family members arguing amongst themselves. You know, this reminds me really of that crazy time we had during the pandemic where people were fighting over vaccines and mandates and lockdowns and all this kind of stuff, right? The government always seems to divide people along different uh, lines on different issues and debates. And at the end of the day, <laughs> this is this is the uh, consequences of that. So, look, I'm going to play this video one more time, just to kind of give us pretty quick. I'm getting ah, a photo so of your lambs, you stupid mole. Get out of the way. Don't you dare. Get out of the way. Up. You just grabbed my phone and assaulted me. Get out. Right. That's now. What's your name? What's this crazy bitch's name? Oh, she just spat on me. me. What no. is this crazy bitch's name? Me. Go away. You just spat on me. You've been now done for assault. Go what away. is your name? What's Call your name? Police. Good, call the police now. You just spat on me. Go, so I did saw. not. You did just no, spit I on me. Not. It's on video, you, you stupid <laughs> My phone and assaulted me. Yeah, so, I mean, <laughs> the both sides there might be at fault, who knows, but the actual interaction there, the spitting, uh, it's not good. It's not a good look at all, and hopefully the Yes23 campaign, uh, you know, makes a statement regarding this and, you know, we might probably won't even see this on mainstream coverage. This might not even be covered. But if it happened the other way around, 
uh, you'll be sure to have seen that on the television and obviously Q&A and all these kind of shows talking about this. Anyway, guys, if you're enjoying my content and what I'm doing, you can follow along on YouTube, on X, on Odyssey, on Rumble and Instagram and of course, Facebook. I'm still surviving on Facebook. I got a few more days in Facebook jail before I'm lifted off uh, this almost 12 month uh, restriction on my account that I've had placed. So you can follow me there as well. And of course, you can go to my website, realrookshan.com. You can click on support and see ways to support my work as well. Until then, guys, see you all next time.